Hi there, Scientist Jen here with another science video for you. Today we are going to focus on ag science, agricultural science. <laughs> and we're going to be biologists that study seeds. After that, we'll have a fun engineering challenge for you. Plants grow from seeds, and so seeds are very important too. Now plants need their seeds to get to the ground and in new locations so they're all not bunched up together. I hear that seeds are great travelers. And so to learn more about that, we're going to ask our ag science specialist, Rachel Fleming. Rachel, how exactly do seeds travel from one place to another? Hi, scientist Jen. In agriculture, seeds are very important. It is the first stage of food production, be it to grow a crop or feed an animal. In the industry, seeds are planted in a uniformed way to make it easier for watering and machines like harvesting. However, in nature, there are three methods of seed distribution, wind, water, and animals. Wow, that's really interesting. All right, let's go over those ways again. Wind, water, and animals. Now first, there's wind. Some seeds are made to blow in the wind, like a dandelion is a great example of that. Other seeds are made to spin as they fall from the tree. Next is water. A good example of this is a coconut. A coconut is actually a seed from a coconut tree. During a storm, a coconut will fall from the tree, roll into the ocean, and the water will take it to a new location. The coco de mar seed can get up to 12 inches long and it can weigh up to 40 pounds. Animals. Animals are a great way for seeds to travel. For example, berries have seeds inside. A bird will eat the berries and fly to a new location. The berry will be digested and then it will excrete the seed. Now the seed's in a brand new place. Same thing with like animals like raccoons. They will take a piece of fruit and they'll take it somewhere else as they eat it and they'll leave the seed. Then that seed can grow in its new location. Other plants grow low to the ground and are sticky or they have thorns or hooks and they can actually hook onto an animal's fur as it passes. This way it can stick to the animal and go to a new location. When it falls off, it grows there. Now today we're going to focus on how seeds travel and we have an engineering challenge for you. The engineering challenge is we're going to design and create a fun way for a seed to travel and we're going to focus on wind power. So you're going to need a fan. Any household fan will do. Here's what you'll need, a fan, some tape, some type of seed, or you can always make a seed up if you'd like, a piece of paper, and some scissors. What we're going to try and do in this challenge is create some type of container that will move our seed as far as possible using wind power. All right, what I'd like you to do is try two different designs, drop them in front of the fan, and see which one, using wind power, travels the furthest. All right, ready? All right, friends, I hope you had a great time learning about ag science and doing a fun engineering challenge. If you tried out our challenge today, please remember to tag us and send us some pictures. It's at, at Wow Sci Museum, at Wow Sci Museum. We'd love to see them. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It helps the channel out a lot and it supports us totally free. So subscribe now. Until next time, friends, I'm Scientist Jen.